why are we suddenly seeing these five, six, seven hundred point swings intraday? What's changed? Is this a broken market? Uh, I don't think so. I think this is a market that does what it's always doing. It's finding uh, the fair value, basically. And, you know, when things are calm and earnings growth is either stable or accelerating and we kind of know where the Fed's going and the economy is stable, investors are generally willing to pay a higher PE for that market. You know, PE is really what, what this all comes down to. You know, we could be obsessed about where the Dow is trading, but it's what we are willing to pay for each dollar of earnings that really is the ultimate thing we're trying to solve for here. And of course, 2018 has been a year of transition. You know, we're going from 25% earnings growth to maybe 7% next year. We, you know, until the last few weeks, haven't really known where the Fed was going to go, whether it was going to overshoot and commit a policy error to the upside. So we just have more uncertainty you know, on trade, on you know, the yield curve, and that's an environment where people are willing to pay less for a dollar of earnings, and that's why the PE has re-rated so much since January. You know, PE is down about 23 percent. Um, and so it, it's just a market that's trying to find its way. And, um, you know, liquidity um, has become more scarce in recent weeks. There's more air pockets in terms of when someone's selling. Uh, there are fewer, fewer people stepping in the way to buy it. So I think that's also a reason why you're seeing exaggerated um, moves here. But ultimately, the market's trying to find its new equilibrium, and I think it's doing so. You know, you're in, you're a smart guy, and I think you laid out something very important in that say, sort of the end of that sentence, which is you talked about these liquidity pockets and lack of buyers. I mean, every day we struggle on this network to figure out why things are happening, right? Because of trade wars, there's got to be a reason for everything. Ultimately, the reason for anything is that more people want to buy or more people want to sell. Where are the buyers then? What happened to them? I, I think the buyers will emerge, uh, but they are waiting for the selling to be done. I mean, it sounds contrived, but, but you know, I, I think there is, there is some element of, 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 of the markets being a little contrived here. You know, th this focus on the yield curve, uh, you know, t the market thinks, you know, the market looks at twos to tens. I look at the three months to 10 year. I think that's a, a purer play. But, but, you know, on a down day, people will mention the two to five year curve as a reason why the market's down and we're going into a recession. I'm like, really? You know, whoever looks at the two to five year curve. Uh, so I think some of this is just uh, searching for uh, reasons when there really are no reasons other than more sellers than buyers. And I think um, people, you know, people need to get some comfort that it's it's safe to get back in, into the ocean, if you will. And and what we're seeing is as the S and P keeps probing the 2,600 level to the downside. Yeah. That, that, that equates to a 15.0 forward multiple. And I think at some point, if the market does end up washing out those lows, which I'm not necessarily predicting, you're going to get a 14 PE or 14 yeah. handle on the PE in an environment where you get basically probably 7% earnings growth next year, a Fed that may go once or twice more and then kind of be on, on hold, um, and an economy that's nowhere near a recession. Uh, you know, that, that, that's a pretty good value proposition for me. Um, and I think as the market kind of starts to embrace that as we go into next year, um, I think the market will actually look um, uh, a lot better.